Cheese up posterior. Hey guys, massive legend here. Today, we're doing some Rick and Morty blind boxes. And I'm really keen to get into these because I've always wanted to do uh, mini boxes or mini figures on this channel at least once. And I haven't got, uh, I haven't got the chance to do it until now. And the thing I like about these is there's different rarities. Like to get any of the, the main family, Rick, Morty, Jerry, Beth, or Summer, it's one of 12 odds. So those are pretty likely. Uh, there's another one of 12, another one of 12. Mr. Poopy Buttle is one of six, I think. So this definitely means likelihood, right? So is this, the, he's just the most likely out of anything? I think that's how it works. And then you've got Tinkles and Ghost in a jar at one of 72 chance. So those I believe are the rare, rare, rare ones. It's, it's kind of strange they would have Mr. Poopy Butthole as the only one of six in that case. All right, and just looking online, there seems to be quite a gap in different price ranges Despite rarity, I guess that's just uh, dependent on how popular each character is as well. I will pop the accurate prices up on the screen in Australian dollars. And just remember guys, we've got to keep an eye out for Ghost in a Jar. Because he is, he's the big ticket item. Okay, here we go guys. Wish us luck. Okay, Whoa, this is exciting boys. Let's see what we're going to get. Hopefully they weren't all, all harvested since I did... Get these fuckers straight out of Walmart. Ah, oh, they're in black bags. I guess that makes them a little harder to fuck with at the shop. Uh, let's see what we got, guys. Who do we have? It's Unity. Is it this Unity, right? Unity! Okay, what was her ratio? Most of the minifigures are usually so fucking ugly. Like, without exception, this is... It's, it's alright, eh? Okay, you are a one of 36. Very nice. Okay, let's see who we have next. Ooh, this bag is a little more air filled. Let's see who we have, who do we have guys? We have Bird Person. Uh, he's garbage, I think he goes for fucking nothing. I do wanna just collect them though, they're pretty cool. They're a little bit ugly. Most minifigures are a little bit ugly. He's got some nice nipples on him. But all in all, these, um, they do seem pretty decent quality. They're Pretty nice build. They're not going to fall apart or anything. They're glued together pretty well. Uh, and the paint is pretty decent for a minifigure. Alright, bitch. Move out the way. Let's see what else we got in here. Let's pull this plastic off. And let's dive on in. I really hope we can get... We don't get too many doubles. Oh, this one feels like it's been... It's just so strange. Each bag is slightly different depending who's in it. We've got Mr. Poopy Butthole. Oh my god. Alright. He's not the worst in price, I don't think. I really don't like this figure. Um, I feel like they could have done him way better. I ain't digging this, honestly. But um, there you go. Mr. Poopy Butthole, everyone. All right, next figure. Who we popping today? Pull out the bag. Let's crank you back a little bit there. This one's definitely feels different. It's a little bigger. If I can get just a few, oh, okay. We've got this bitch from The Purge. I don't remember her name. Been a long time since I've seen that episode, but um, that's pretty cool. She's got uh, she's got Rick's gun there, which she stole. Got some decent decals on the face for the eyes and mouth. Uh, you can't see up her skirt, which is which is good. Can we actually get some characters which aren't fucking shit? I would want Squanchy, except um, he looks really ugly. Um, same with Tinkles. Tinkles has always been disgusting. Um, Snowball, pretty cool, that'd be dope. I want Doofus Rick. I would love, I would, pr I'm praying for Ghost in a Jar. Uh, Morty, Morty Jr. would be okay. And of course, uh, Morty and Rick, pretty nice. Jerry would be a good one. I'd love a nice Jerry. Always love a, uh, an underfigure character. A sidekick, I, oh, I see Blue! We've got a Me Six. Here we go, guys, we've got, he's really big. He seems really big compared, is he really that big? Man, he's especially ugly. Without having to have like proper hair or anything covering his bulbous head with the, the, the split line. The smear of shit on the back of his hand. Yes, let me pop that Meeseeks box. Oh, I'm Mr. Meeseeks. Hey, Mr. Meeseeks, I want someone to grab my titties. Oh, yeah, yes, ma'am. There we go. Does not feel like you have breast cancer, ma'am. 
And those are some nice titties. Oh, God. And he's gone. And that's how that's how the Me6 box works, everyone. But we'll see. We'll see. Come on. Give us something different. Who do we have here? Come on. Here we go. Oh, man. Seriously? <laughs> Beth? Yeah, she looks mad that a... She's even a figure. Okay, bitch. Look who's come to say hello. It's your pal, Mr. Poopy Butthole. Oh, she doesn't look happy. She's gonna, she's gonna shoot him again. You like that law? You guys like Rick and Morty law? Fuck this. We've got, th we've got like three more to go. We haven't got anything that great. I'm hoping. Oh, we got th three more after this one to go. I think. Here we go. This one's no. It's another poopy butthole. Get fucked! I don't want that! Alright. Let's get into the next one. Come on. Do not give me another poopy butthole. Oh, it's heavy. It's heavy. This one feels a little thicker. This better not be another Mr. Me Seeks. Oh, it could be Unity. Oh, it's Summer. Here we go. Well... Oh god, she's ugly. What the fuck is those head purport- Dude, that is gross. What's on her phone? Who's she texting? Just a bunch of squares. Okay, well, uh, I mean, we've only got one double so far. So that's okay, I'd say that's pretty good luck. Let's get into this next one. We're not gonna dawdle around and waste too much time here, guys. Please, please give me something cool. What does this feel like? It's definitely not Ghost in a Jar. It could be another Me Seeks. No, I feel hair. I feel some sort of hairline. Could be Jerry. It is Jerry! Okay, Jerry, everyone. Hey, he's alright. <laughs> yeah, and there you go, everyone. Jerry Smith. In minifigure form. Um, we have one more box here to go. God damn it! Man! We didn't get any of the good ones. Can we at least get a Rick? Or a Morty? Like, that would just be... Just standard, just a, here we, yes! We've got a Rick. There we go. Okay, he's pretty cool. I do dig that. He's got a little bald spot, and um, he's all Albert Einstein hair. He's holding his little portal gun. It's got some cool little details on it. And uh, he's got his signature alcoholic vomit lines coming out of his mouth there. And he looks like he hasn't slept in a couple days. So there you have it, guys. Only two doubles. Two poopy buttholes, um, so I guess that's pretty decent. The rest has just been everything else. We nearly get, we nearly got most of the Smith family. That would have been good, but um, there we go. We're missing Morty. This has been a Rick and Morty minifigure opening. I do have one last little surprise for you guys uh, that I wanna, wanted to open up. Uh, my girlfriend was in Japan recently and uh, picked up this. I had not seen this before, but they look like little Pokemon crossings. Like, each one has the Pokemon, and then it has its little crossing sign. I kind of laughed at the names, the, the Japanese names. Gangar! Koduk! Nyas! Fushig... Fushiga... Fushigadani! Fushigadain! Fushigadani! It sounds like I'm reading that with uh, an Italian inflection there. Hitogag! Hit... Hitokage! 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 And uh, of course, Zenigami. Zenik. Fuck, I, I'm butchering everything. I apologize. But yeah, I wanted to see what these were. This could be cool. I'm not sure the, the figure quality, but we'll see. Oh, so you got a little sign. And there we go, we got Bulbasaur. And that actually looks pretty neat. I think this is about 450 yen. Here we go. A little Bulbasaur. And that is quite good quality. That's some nice details on his bulb. And he's, uh, he's giving a little wave there. Let's put him together with his sign. Bulbasaur crossing, everyone. Watch out. Bulbasaur crossing. I actually really like that. I think that's a really cool idea. And that uh, these signs would be so easy for them to print. It's just a round bit of plastic and then essentially like a lollipop stick. Very cool. Actually, it feels like there's something else in here. And then in the box, we have... What the fuck is this? It's like a little mint. In Japan, you always get a little present with every other present. How adorable are those? Little desk Pokemon. Alright, let's try out this mint. Oh my god! It's green apple. That's a little bit of chewy gum. I know we just keep going here, but I thought it would be nice, um, a nice uh, place to show this off just very quickly. 
I'm not going to open it up. Um, it is a limited edition, but uh, shout out to iDubs TV, Ian, for picking this up for me at uh, Comic Con a few years ago. He's just been sitting around, sitting around the house in his plastic. But yeah, a little bit of a, an angry Mr. Meeseeks there. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Uh, my name is Max Mofo Pokemon. I do Pokemon and fucking everything in between. Feel free to watch any other videos, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.